So on another occasion, Jesus uh, stated quite brazenly, I and the Father are one. And his opponents responded by picking up stones in order to stone him to death. Yeah. So again, even if you think, oh, this is this is just uh, 21st century Christianity, uh, you know, uh, relaying words in Jesus' mouth that he didn't really mean he is. Look at the response. Right. What did the people at the time understand, understand his words saying. to mean? Exactly. Well, they just don't go around stoning people for funsies. You know? <laughs> they were quite clear about their justification. It was for blasphemy because you, a mere man, claim to be God. And of course, that's uh, John 10. And another time, Jesus had made an astonishing claim that he had existed before Abraham was born. And he went uh, as far as to apply the divine name, the ego I me in, in the Greek or uh, Yahweh, as we, we find out, uh, attributed to all three uh, uh, persons of the, uh, the, the Godhead uh, in John 5.8. Uh, and can you guess how the people responded to him that one? Well, mm. it was a rocky situation. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Anderson tells us here that he's hardly scratched the surface uh, of the evidence for Jesus claiming to be God, right? But even a cursory examination of his words and actions reveals that Jesus more than encouraged the idea that he was divine. Right. Yeah? So he says, let me put it this way, right? If Jesus didn't want people to think he was divine, uh, he has to go down as one of the worst teachers in the history of the world. Right, right. right? <laughs> because obviously it came out as people, at least the ones closest to him, believed that he was divine. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. <laughs> of course, just because someone claims to be divine, it doesn't follow that he is divine, rightfully so. Jesus wasn't the first person to claim to be divine, nor was he the last. And mm. uh, I kind of brought that up in, in my um, my uh, discussion about uh, uh, comparing uh, Jesus with uh, with uh, Ben Judah, but, you know, the, 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 um, the, the thief or the uh, murderer who he uh, uh, went against uh, at his trial. Mm. And so uh, Jesus wasn't the first person uh, to claim, nor was he the last. Uh, there are plenty of people alive uh, today who make similar claims, and most of them are being treated for mental illness, <laughs> right? uh, along to uh, all the Napoleon Bonapartes and uh, the people who are God and, uh, uh, and, and everything children. else in between. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. and probably a few more people that should be put in there as well. But that's precisely the point, isn't it? It's not simply that Jesus said he was the divine son of God. It's the hundreds of people who knew him, uh, believed him. Yeah. He said this, and he had followers. Yeah, yeah nobody tried to put him, uh, you know, tried to convict him of having mental illness. <laughs> right, <laughs> not then. 